she's baked and a laskin so baked and a laskin <laughs> hey everyone and welcome to the baked alaskan how you doing today i'm wearing my unicorns have real unicorns have curves yeah that's right <laughs> t-shirt it's a t-shirt it's vape o'clock one minute I'm back with bags. <sighs> Vaping at four hundred. Fucking weird. I'm back. Uh, my phone decided to have a spasm, and, um, yeah. I got Jack right next to me. I'll show you in a minute when I get a hand free. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm smoking on some Maui Wowie. Big, beautiful buds. You have to see the size of this nug. I'm, like, I'm going to be distraught when I have to destroy it. I usually vape at about 420, <coughs> 418, but it's pretty hot for the middle of the day. I mean, hot on my lungs, and it makes me sleepy, so I try to bring it down during the day. Uh, a friend told me, like, 380 is good, but I just don't get the vapor production that I like at 380, so I don't go any lower than 400 usually. It's a nice cloud. I mean, obviously some of this, the um, cannabis that I put in it does not give me the same amount of vapor because it doesn't have the same amount of THC, so, but. <clears throat> I'm in a lot of pain today. My hip is killing me like literally it hurts so bad um i don't know I, what i did yesterday but i did something and it hurts a lot <coughs> anyways there's jackie he's all curled up i got the shakes pretty bad today too you can see that <coughs> um, I've already been to the store this morning, I've had my shower, <coughs> and a considerable walk, because I walked to the store. It's, uh, cloudy again today, and raining, uh, but it's still really humid, and it's hard for me to breathe. So, staying in um, from now on. Squirrel fight, right? Only on our balcony. We've had we started a turf war because Nicole feeds our squirrels peanuts. I call them our squirrels because they have names. <coughs> they don't come inside or anything. <coughs> We're not. That crazy. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, that one caught me. <coughs> like that YouTube on in the background there? 
That's the new air conditioner. <coughs> it's um, 12,000 BTUs and it keeps it quite cool in here when I have it on. But it's not too hot out today so it's off right now and I don't make videos with it on because it's really loud. Well, it's not really loud. It's just... <coughs> Who wants to hear that in a video? You know, it sounds like you're in a wind turbine or something. So. I wonder how your hump day is going, everybody. Better than mine, I think. I'm just joking. I have um, nothing but love for today. I mean, I woke up in a good mood despite the fact that I was nauseous and sick. I uh, still went for a walk to the grocery store, did my shopping, um, with a smile on my face, and I feel good today even though my hip hurts, I'm nauseous. I'm trying to fix that by vaping now. <coughs> <clears throat> but, um, I watched this really powerful clip on Facebook about uh, a man who uses medical cannabis for chronic pain and about all the hoops you have to jump through in the United States to get a medical cannabis um, card and, and then get access to medical cannabis. Whereas uh, here in Canada, it's much easier, I think. Um, I wouldn't say easier. I had to provide a lot of doctor's uh, records. And I had to have my doctor sign off on it. And that was hard. I had to have a conversation with my doctor that she was not going to give in and I had to say look I either do it on the street or I do it with your blessing and it's safe product you know not that I think homegrown shit isn't safe don't get me wrong but when you're talking to doctors my doctor once told me to watch out for cannabis that was laced and um, I was like you know with cocaine or something and 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 I was just like you know I'm pretty sure if it was lace with cocaine they'd charge extra <laughs> or is that only when you buy it already pre-ground up in in joints or pre-rolls or whatever uh, like what is I don't even know how that's possible but I mean I'm a bit of a rube about the black market I will admit um I guess I shouldn't really talk about that <clears throat> it got me thinking, you know, <clears throat> about the legal legality of what they're doing to medical patients here in Canada now that they're legalizing REC. And they're making us pay more money when we can't afford it in the first place because it's so expensive. If you get it from reputable sources, like they, you know, expect you to. And, <coughs> hey buddy, how you doing? Well, you're just going to go that way. Alright. He made his appearance, I guess. Um, but, disabled patients, patients with chronic pain, you know, patients tend to not have jobs, tend to not have a lot of money. You know, how are we supposed to pay for our cannabis? If I bought what I was prescribed, which is 60 grams a month, personal use, that's what I'm prescribed, 2 grams a day, it would cost me, let's see, so 60 grams times average, on average, it's $9 a gram up to about $12 a gram sometimes higher. I never have bought anything that was more than $12 a gram though from uh, Tweed or Aurora or 
uh, who's the other one I was at? Can trust. Um, but that's the general pricing. So, 12 times 60. Do the math, folks. It's a lot. I don't even know what that number is right now. But I know the low end was like over $700 or something, I think. 9 times 16. No, I think that's. Oh, I can't even do the math. I'm stoned now. <laughs> Somebody do the math and write it down below. Because I'm lazy too. Not really. But my whole point here in talking about this is that now they're uh, enacting a dollar a gram tax on legal recreational cannabis and that's applying to medical cannabis patients as well uh... in addition to the sales tax that we already pay and why are we paying sales tax on a medication i ask you you don't pay sales tax on medications in canada except cannabis i admit I'm not up 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 to date on like everything that happened this week or even this month I'll even go back as far as this month cuz I've been quite busy. But <coughs> <coughs> what's happening with this legalization isn't cool. Um I'm happy that everybody's going to be able to partake in cannabis and realize that it's not just uh, a you know it's, n it's not just a useless thing but to get to that point we're sacrificing a lot um, like the cannabis patients are the ones that fought for legalization and now we get stabbed in the back and it's it's we've we've been I shouldn't include myself in this because I wasn't fighting back then, but cannabis patients have been fighting for rights to cultivate and smoke or vape cannabis, eat cannabis, um, all of these things in Canada for years. And now legalization is just happening and none of this stuff is being taken into, into account. It's, it's a real shame. Anyways, I want to tell you all what I've been doing. I've been working on my apartment with my wife. She just had a four-day weekend. And we got so much accomplished. You can actually walk from one end to the apartment to the other and touch both walls now. Excuse me. Uh, and to say that is a little embarrassing. But in the process of doing all this I filled the dining room up with all the stuff that I was going to put around the apartment like moving furniture and stuff because I moved two bookcases off the walls over there and one's in the bedroom now and one's in the studio I moved the uh, room divider that you all usually see in my videos I moved that uh, over to the corner of the studio. The cat house got moved from over here to over there. Uh, and we got a new couch. We got rid of two chairs. We brought out an old ottoman, put away the uh, old side tables. We've done so much, you guys, and it feels so good, and we're nowhere near being done, but, oh my goodness, it's happening, it's finally happening, you know, we're both on the same page, we had to have a ha hard conversation uh, a couple weeks ago, and um, ever since then, it's like, we're just firing on all cylinders, uh, I'm just so proud of us and yeah before I forget let me show you this bud 
Because I'm almost done. today. <coughs> Hi, Jackson. <coughs> All right. See right there. Look at the size of this nug. the size <coughs> of my palm and I have quite large hands <coughs> excuse me so that's what's been going on around here <coughs> Excuse me. Um, when I get the studio cleaned up, oh, and I ordered a webcam, so I'll be able to do more art videos that don't have a shitty angles. Hopefully, I'll be able to position the webcam better than my phone. And um, <coughs> I'm excited for that. I, uh, so that's coming soon, and then I'll be able to do more art videos. I'm also going to be clearing off my table, so I'll be able to do more art videos, uh, and I won't be working from a, an awkward angle like I was before. So that's kind of exciting. Um, I'm looking forward to shooting in there when I get it cleaned up. <clears throat> It'll be nice to get back to my roots. So, I got funny hair today, I'm sorry. <coughs> wow, that last toke really got me. Second to last toke, I guess. Alright, everybody. Well, I hope you're well today. I hope you are... So much, I hope, for you guys. I wish things in this world made sense right now. I wish that more than anything. Because it hurts my heart to see the state of the world. The earth. And the people on it. Um, I've already maxed out on news today, and it's 11.36. A.M. I hope you're having an easier time dealing with it, and I hope you can see the good still in this world, as I'm trying to do, and uh, fight to raise consciousness. That's all we can do. I hope you're out of pain. I hope you have enough meds. And I hope you are well. Much love to you all. 
take care of yourselves out there and be well.